All right, we're here in beautiful Kelowna, the best crocodile place, hunting place in Canada. Stand here with young Christina Quok. Tell us a little bit how is the Power 104 going right now? Oh, it's going unbelievable. We've got tons of events this summer. I'm going to be covering the whole community. Dirt Man, all the guys back at the station were number one again this year. So we're really happy and things are great. And uh, Ron Gilmore and Dirt Man are still going really well. They're having fun? Oh, they're having tons of fun. Definitely. And the Wakeboard Festival is a, is a big event? Oh, it's huge. It's actually the biggest beach party of the summer. It's going to be right here in Kelowna. It's going to be amazing. All right. Power 104, number one. Station in oh, yeah, Kelowna, the whole of Oakland, Oregon, Brock Station. So what do you think of the Aussie rules football? Oh my gosh, you know what, I, I don't really understand it. It's, it's pretty neat though. I mean, I can't believe they can just attack each other from every angle. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about it? Yeah, well, special thing this weekend is it's Canadians versus Canadians and Aussies versus Aussies. So right now we've got the uh, Calgary team, the Bears, will be playing the Irish boys from Vancouver. So let's check out some of the action here. We have Gareth Williams about to kick in, Bears back lines. Gareth is part of the Northwind team right now. Played quite well in Houston, I believe. Out there to Josh, another one of the Canadian boys in the Canadian team. On to Matty Hankey, there we go. Probably our top three players all in a row there for the Bears. Matty Hankey, very good on baller. Big chance for the Northwind as well. Henke into attack, Bears up one goal to nothing at this stage against the Irish Heart boys. The Gaelic boys are taking on Aussie rules footy, great stuff. The Gaelic boys into attack, oh good grab there. Big fella for the Harp, about to line up for a goal. Gareth Williams, the president of the Alberta footy, kicking in again, well done. There we go, replay action on to Joshy, and he's hurt, he's down. Let's hope he's alright, because he's one of our star players here. He'll be alright, Joshy's down. That is unfortunate, Josh was only telling me on the way over he's had some ankle troubles, and it looks like he's done his ankle, he's off. Let's hope he's back on. Gareth again, good kick from the back lines. Oh, well, right off the pack. What's Stewie Grills doing there? Gaelic, the Irish boys, free kick. To keep and help you guys out and come down the field, okay? So you guys in the centre, if they come down and out numbering the back line, you've got to switch on to that. Jimmy, uh, Smell, <laughs> Robot, you've got to watch that. Need to chase more too. There's a lot of times here we're just like half committed. Watch your tackling, okay? So you have Kenny Freeman. Top umpire from Australia is now umpiring the second half of the game. Oh, Big Jimmy loves to have a bounce. He's done well, the CIS wide receiver. Whoa! In his first proper game ever of Aussie Rules football. I didn't like the bounce, but he got away with it and kicked a major. Former Ottawa schooner, Calgary Dino, CIS player. Canadian Junior Football League player as well. Ottawa Schooner, well done Jimmy. Thanks Tim, I'm still enjoying the sun at the Parkinson's rec fields and I'm watching the Kelowna Cup Aussie football and I'm standing here with former South Australian footy player Mick Aussie. Mick, tell me a little bit about what's going on today. Well it's a Kelowna Cup and it's Canadians versus Canadians and Aussies versus Aussies and Australian rules football. It's not rugby, way different, Australian rules football. A hard running fast game. Thanks so much, Mick. It's going on until 5 uh, tonight, and hey ladies, if you like men who like to show some skin, then this is definitely where you want to be. So yeah, the final of the Kelowna Cup, it's, it's the Calgary team versus Vancouver. I believe Vancouver is slightly in front. So Vancouver could go further in front here in the final. All Canadian boys playing, and there's a major. Good goal. So here we go, Cougars to kick in, big crowd, have a look, huge crowd over there the other side, lots of people showed up, there's big Jimmy, he's done alright today, and he's got it, there's a good contest between big Jimmy and big number 24, the uh, big fella from Ottawa out, Ottawa out there, there's me big mate Damo in Ruck, he's a good fella. Kitty from Red, there he is, he's a good player, he was in Vegas, 
Tyson, the ball's on the ground. Well, good defensive there work by the Vancouver fellas. They're going hard, it's been hot all day. Was that Teddy Bundy? The veteran Cougar, Teddy. Dale, the uh, Legend Eagle Aussie player. Who's uh, some of your best uh, Canadians there today, you think? I think today we've got Chip out on the paddock. He's doing really well. Played a lot of footy in Australia, but pretty much a Canadian guy. He's kicked a few goals, so uh, he's doing really well. And who's, who's the uh, big fella, 24, the big uh, 24's, ball fella? 24's a new guy. I'm not actually sure of his name. I think it's uh, Big Ted. Yeah. But I think if we get him on a bigger ground, he'll do well. Not yeah. just 100 metres. He needs space. He's, got, uh, he's two metres tall. He's but a good with player. Some, with some space, I think he'll do pretty well. Good to see you again, champ. There's Campo to ball it up. Matty Henke, he's had a lot of kicks today. Good kick into the forward lines. Oh, there's nearly a big grab. Calgary up by two goals, I believe. They want to hold on. They want to keep that cup. They want to drink out of it. We won a lot last year. We want to keep the cup. Deep into attack here for Calgary. We're in the Bears jerseys. The Wally Parsons Calgary Bears jerseys. Go Bears into attack. Oh, there's a grab. Big grab. Is that Burnsy? There he is. The goalie. The goalie in the ice hockey Mick Webb TV from a couple of weeks ago. He did a great job for the ice ruse. They lost. Burnsy, the goalie. Check that out. The Aussie boys playing ice hockey in Calgary. One of my favourite shows ever. Oh, but he's, he's got it! He's very happy. Burnsy, great guy. Good player. There we have it. The Calgary has retained the Kelowna Cup. The beautiful Kelowna Cup of blue. Like the beautiful water here in the big lakes. Organised by President Gareth Williams. Good effort by the Calgary boys. The Aussies, we got our butt kick. But the Canadian Calgary boys won it. Yeah, great stuff. All the boys shaking hands. They're happy. The three cheers for each team. Wow, what a day. Another great day here in Canadian football in the wild, wild west of Canada. Fantastic stuff. The Wally Parsons, Calgary Bears, Canadian team are winners again. Two years in a row. Great stuff. The chorus, Calgary's on the ball. Good old Calgary, the champions all agree. Calgary is a team in place to win for you and me. Hey! Do we win? Yeah! How do we do it? Easy. What are we made of? Muscle. What are they made of? Famous. Which they so richly deserve. Hey, did you go check? You have fun out there? Woo! You have fun out there? Oh Edwin? yeah, let's go yeah. have some beer now. Star of Super Bowl TV show. Oh yeah, get over that. One. How'd you go? You happy today? Oh, yeah. Every really few happy. kicks? Uh, didn't really do that great myself. But, She's yeah. warm out there. Eh? Yeah, warm. We want to... Uh... <laughs> You even got a run I'm on going the, to Disney World! You even got a run on the ball, champ. Yeah. Oh, well done, everyone. Good stuff. You go, oh, champ. Was, Have fun. Won the tournament, man. All right. Jeez, man. You deserve a coconut. Awesome, man. You deserve a coconut. Man, chug, chug this one for the game. <laughs> well done, fella. Anyway, I'm going to give this to um, the coach and uh, the president of our club. Uh, he's a really good player and he's, gonna, he's played for uh, Northwind. Uh, some Gareth Williams. Yeah. Yeah. Well GG. Yeah. Great stuff, champ. Cowboy boys, let's go, Brady. Yeah! Here we go, we retain the Kelowna Cup. All Canadians. Stand here with the uh, coach of Northwind, which is the Canadian team, Mark Block, former player himself. Mark, first of all, tell us what you thought of uh, the performance out here in the wild, wild west today. No, it was wicked being here. I'm, I'm surrounded by mountains, playing Aussie rules in the middle of BC. That was pretty awesome. So, I came here to watch the Canadians play today. You know, all the Aussies always put on a great show. Uh, we saw a couple of big speckies here today. Yeah. Yeah? A couple of guys clamming on people's backs. That was fun. But I came here to watch the Canadians. It was a great show. There's a there's a number of guys that I'm scouting here for, okay. the, for the national team. Well, let's I, talk about that. I, yeah. I, rate, I rate Gareth Williams, Josh Williams, yeah. Josh, yeah. Josh Matt Henke, Matt Kidd. Tell us uh, some of the guys that impressed you today. Well, you just mentioned a couple of guys from the uh, Calgary Kangaroos and from the uh, Red Deer Magpies. So right. a couple of those guys have already played for the North Wind. Uh, I know Gareth Williams, uh, he had a strong day today. Yep. He looked pretty good. He's still very fit. 
and uh, managed to survive the whole day, you know, which was very tough in this blistering heat. But there's a couple of guys also from uh, out in BC, Vancouver Way. From the Vancouver Cougars, we got uh, Scott Fleming. Fleming yes. uh, he was scouted by the AFL. Wow. Um, and they flew him down to Los Angeles to have a look at him. They were excited about him. He's 17 years old now. Wow. He's a great talent. And he's definitely going to start for the North Wind this, uh, wow. this tournament that we have in Vancouver at Thunderbird Stadium. And also we got another fellow playing for Vancouver the Cougars. Big, uh, the big Bo bald fella? guy big there. Big bald fella, yeah. yeah. James Six Maitland. Five? James Maitland. Yeah. Uh, he's an older fella. He's about uh, mid-20s. Uh, he's a very mature football player. Um, great hands. Big, big boot. And uh, he's going to do well. He'll be a starter for sure. Well, there we go. We have uh, two or three definite starters from out west. There's a couple other guys that weren't here today, and I rate Adrian Lagan, the great Gaelic player. I've been waiting to see that guy. Yeah. Timmy Hamill, tough Timmy. I rate him as a big chance. So there's uh, five or possibly six guys from the west could make North win team. Now, Mark, the thing that I'm impressed with, you're a Canadian, you played for Northwind, and now you're the Canadian coach. I think that's great. Tell us a little bit about your career out there in Toronto. Well, I started uh, watching an Energizer battery commercial with that Jacko, Jacko. that crazy Jacko <laughs> guy. And uh, at the time, I was full of fire. I, I, I love that guy. I said, I got to get into that sport. I joined back in 89 and uh, played all through the 90s. I finished my career being the captain for the Northwind. And uh, it was an awesome experience for me. I got to walk around the MCG and experience uh, uh, playing on a lot of great uh, uh, football grounds in Melbourne that a lot of people would have uh, died to have an opportunity to play on. So I consider myself very lucky. That's awesome. Great, a special guest out here in the West. I'm going to present this guy with a DVD of these 06 US <laughs> Nationals. Both the Calgary and the Vancouver teams compete in the U.S. Nationals. Are you taking there any you go. on this That's thing? yours. Right on, man. Great to see <laughs> our special guest out here in the West, the coach of Northwind Canada, Mark Block. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Cool. Here with Ken Freeman, <laughs> legend umpire today, and uh, a year or two out there in Vancouver. Kenny, first of all, tell us what you thought about uh, the great game out here in the Kelowna Cup very hard to explain, Michael. Um, it's very hot. <laughs> it's too hot for football, but uh, Canada football seems to be improving. I've been over here three times now, and um, it seems the Canadians are probably uh, a little bit stronger in, in aspects of parts of the game, a little bit weaker in other parts, but uh, it seems to be all going down the right track. And uh, no fights today, which was very good. Bit of back chatting, but not too bad. Pretty much uh, no trouble, which was good to see. You agree with that? Oh, well, that all comes down to probably the umpire. You got in the middle, mate. You know, <laughs> uh, controlled the game pretty well. No, no. He no, did well. Um, good. The, uh, there was no chatting back. There was a couple of um, incidents. Spoke to him. Stopped straight away. Yeah. And uh, who, who, are your, who are your best Canadian players today? Who would you rate high? I think the Canadians have got a couple in the uh, Vancouver Cougar side. There's probably uh, number 17. I'm not too sure of his name, but he'll be over there in 2008, I'd say. And, uh, Is that young Fleming? Yeah, and they've probably got another couple of younger kids. Around 16 and 17, they're the future of Canada, for sure. And uh, tell us, I believe you're a top level umpire out there in uh, country Victoria somewhere, Ballarat League or Bendigo, is that uh, right? I umpire in the Riddle District Football League and the Ballarat League and the Victorian Amateur. As far as a top level umpire, I wouldn't say I'm top level, but we all battle along. Awesome. It's people like this that uh, help our game grow. Kenny, great to see you again. Awesome job. Thanks, Have a beer, eh? I will do. Awesome. Thank you. Great stuff.